Tonight, the Case Western Reserve University football team is remembering one of its own. Just weeks after graduating, 22-year-old Cooper Tulloch died Sunday in what is being called a hit-and-run incident in downtown Cleveland. Laura Queso is here with more on Cooper and the search for a suspect. He's the kind of kid that you, you wish, you know, your son or daughter would, you know, would emulate and grow up into. Coach Greg Debelak is talking about Cooper Tulloch, a former Case Western Reserve football player and finance major. He just graduated in May, but police say Tulloch was killed Sunday morning, found lying in the right lane of I-90 eastbound, just south of the Chester Avenue ramp at 3.30 in the morning. Police say he was hit by a vehicle in downtown Cleveland. That vehicle never stopped. It's the worst phone call or email that you could ever get. This has really affected our program uh, quite a bit because he was he was a very popular person on our team. He was a defensive back for CWRU's football team, following in the footsteps of his brother, Hunter. The brothers are from Boca Raton, Florida. He came back from South, he was in South Florida and came back for this weekend. It was sort of a last weekend with his roommates um, before they kind of entered the, you know, the work world. One of those roommates, Matthew Boss, he tells 3 News, Cooper was an incredible friend. He was quiet at first, but once he got to know someone, he would light up every room. He says Cooper was a movie buff and loved spending time with his teammates. He was very popular on our team. Uh, coaches loved him because he was reliable, coachable, you know, did everything that was asked of him to the best of his ability. And tonight, he will be missed by his college community, a community praying for answers. There's still, you know, a lot of unanswered questions um, with, with how this all happened. And this is still very much an open investigation. Police are still trying to determine why Tulloch was on the highway in the first place. There is no word yet on a suspect vehicle involved. But if you have any information, please contact the Cleveland Division of Police. That number's on your screen there. It's 216-621-1234. That's a tough story to tell. Yeah, it's a hard one. And just, you know, I know that this community is praying for answers, so hopefully they hear something soon. All right, thanks, Laura. Sure. Mm -hmm.